It was a glorious dream that George Martin had. A fantastic state-of-the-art studio in the Caribbean. It was so successful. It was a hit factory. He's recognized as the greatest record producer the industry has yet seen, George Martin. George's idea was to take people out of an environment, to put them into harmony with nature. Going to Montserrat was like going into a dream. It was great to have an environment around us where you could escape to. The characters that worked in the studios became part of people's lives. George, the cook was in the band, the housekeeper was in the band. It's like it was all one big band. There was no doubt there was a magic on Montserrat. This was sort of the rock star dream. You tied in creativity with being in a special place. At any time in the studio, it's very easy to lose perspective, especially when you're locked up and it becomes your whole world. The old Brothers and Arms album was done in a few days. The place sort of intensified everything that you were. I mean, we weren't physically aggressive with each other, but it got pretty heated. We went there for the isolation. Here we were in this paradise, which we soon turned into a living hell. When the volcano went off, that was a, a pinnacle point of change, a point where nothing was ever going to be quite the same again. It's like seeing something you've created falling into disrepair. Everything has a period. You bring something out of nothing, but it always goes back to nothing again. The 80s was like the renaissance, the golden era of studio recording. It's about the dream that George had of that wonderful space in Montserrat where you had the sun, the sea, nature, and music. Yeah.